Hi, today I'm going to take you through changing the front tire on a 2023 Ninja ZX-6R, otherwise known as a 636. Here's the bike right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front wheel off, I'm going to place it on a piece of plywood. We're going to take the tire off the front wheel. We're going to put a new tire on it, balance it, and then take the wheel, the new tire, and put it back on the bike. So today I've chosen this particular tire. It is a Michelin Power GP2. And the size on it is a 12070ZR17. So let me show you the tools I'm going to be using today. You're going to need both jack stands front and back. You'll need a wheel balancer with some weights, some tape, some Allen wrenches, metric socket set, ratchets, ratchet extenders, some ratchet size converters, a torque wrench, breaker bar, a tire inflator, rubber mallet, hammer. These are Allen wrench sockets, but we'll also need this special Allen wrench socket. It goes up to 24 millimeters. We're going to use this 22 millimeter to get the front axle off and to torque it back down. We also have an 8 inch C clamp, a punch to let the air out of the tire, a screwdriver, synthetic wheel bearing grease, some three tire spoons, two rim protectors, a spray bottle full of soapy water. I have Dawn and water mixed in together some rags. Also, the board I have set up is a piece of half-inch plywood on top of a couple of bricks. And I have a small piece of 2x4 in case I need it. Well, let's get started. We've got the front tire off the motorcycle. Something I wasn't expecting is once I unscrewed the axle, it came all the way unscrewed, it was still tight in there and I just needed to get it out. The pinch bolts were loose. It wasn't them, it was just the, the way the fork was holding on to the axle. It was a little tight. So I got this 12 millimeter extended socket and I put it in here, making sure not to damage any of these threads and using a rubber mallet, I just gently tapped it out and it, it came right out pretty easily then. We've got the front wheel off and I placed it on this piece of plywood that we're gonna be using to remove this tire. I'm gonna clean things up, remove the tire, put the new tire on, and then we'll go to the next step after that.
We've got the old tire off, and now we're going to put the new tire on. So for the front wheel, should the rim go on the bike this way, or should it go this way? If you notice, the front rim looks the same, no matter which way you put it, but there is a big difference in this motorcycle. Do you see this little indicator right here? This is a wheel speed indicator, and that is on the left side if you're sitting on the motorcycle, so it needs to be on the left side. So when you put your tire on, be sure that the rotation of the tire is this way. Well, we got the tire on the rim, the new tire, and I would say that is an 11 out of 10 difficulty level. It's the front tire is more difficult. You really have to get the opposite side and the rim channel, and it's difficult to do that with your knees. I think I pulled half the hairs out of my knees, but uh, we got it on. So uh, the next step is to take this wheel and balance it. I'm going to put this balancer hub inside the hub of the wheel. Before we do that, I want to be sure to put the valve stem cap back on. Make sure there are no wheel weights on the wheel, and I've already taken that off. So let's get started and balance the wheel.
right, the wheel is balanced. Don't forget to fill up the tire to the proper pressure. We are ready to roll. All done. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And remember, it's not about the destination. It's about the ride.